Previously on Saved by the Baby. Are you asking us not to have intercourse then? Oh, absolutely. Okay. Hold on. Phone's ringing. Mario's with me for a total of 10 minutes and he gets a phone call. He has to work and it just, it really bothers me that he can't put his phone down and focus on, on me. The point is that you're fitting me into your schedule and your priorities in my eyes are completely screwed up. I promise I'm gonna work on it. You still love me? No, it's not you. Have you seen mommy's phone? Hmm? Masa. There? Hey, honey, did you know that the baby is gonna come out with a cone-shaped head when it first comes out? That wasn't quite what I thought, no. Because... I never really thought about that. Well, assuming it comes out the natural way. Did you know this? Did you know that pregnant women are at greater risk for gingivitis than those that aren't? Did you know that? No, but I'll go floss right now. So I was just trying to gain a little knowledge, do some research, you know, connect with Masa and the pregnancy, and she wasn't having any of it. Did you know you're gonna be really constipated before the baby comes? Babe, for real? Well, you poop enough for the both of us. You're gonna be really, really constipated. Literally full of crap all the time. Okay. Check out some of the post-birthing discomforts. Excessive sweating. You're not a big sweater anyway. Dizziness. Engorgement. What is engorgement? Like you're, you're eating way too much? Cracked nipples and breastfeeding. Honey, okay, thank you. You're sending me to the loony bin. Mario was driving me crazy, and I just needed to get away from him. It says Julio may go through postpartum depression when the baby arrives. Julio? You already look sad. You always hear about pregnant women going through all these changes and being moody and grumpy, but Masa hasn't even been going through any of that. Hi. That looks good, honey. Mama's baby. Baby, baby. A little bit more open on the belly, right there. <laughs> Love you. But now, that's all over. Excuse me, well, what do you expect? I feel fat and gross. I can't even see my feet. Oh my God, I have like two things that fit me. I pee every five minutes. <laughs> Damn it, we're out of toilet paper again. I feel like I have no memory. What the heck is this dress? I feel like the house isn't gonna be ready when the baby comes. I know he was trying to help, but I just needed some alone time. What's up, honey? You all right? I'm fine. Why? Because you look all... Oh, I just can't decide on this paint. I like that one. Why? Because... It's a little bit darker, and that one looks too close to the one we already have, I think. What do you, you don't like the one we have? They're, they look exactly the same, I don't care. They're not the same though. So which one do you want? I can't decide, I don't know. Well, if you can't decide, I can. That's why I said that one, so let's go with that one. But I want to decide with you and be on the same page, and I don't know if I like that one. You're all acting a little bit grumpy and her, which you haven't been. I just, I'm grumpy today. All right, that's cool. But you've been grumpy like, like a few days now. Well, lucky you. You've had three days of grumpy days out of it. How many months? I'm not complaining. I've had a hell of a run. I'm just saying, I don't know if it's something I'm doing or... I know what's bothering you that we're not able to be intimate, but... Oh yeah, like I'm the one who's frustrated because we can't have sex. It's just this pregnant time and that's just the way it is? Yes. All right. My hormones are out of whack. All right, all right, cool. I'm cool with that then. I'm cool with that. Fat and disgusting. You're not fat, you look beautiful. I wake up looking like a different person. 
honey, your face looks Pour exactly up. the same. Look like I've been drinking until like five in the morning. You're taking it out on me and poor Julio. Because you did this to me. I did what? This. Just relax. Well, wait, they'll be okay. You could tell me to relax. Do you want like a little timeout right now? Should I leave? A timeout? <laughs> Do you want like a little timeout right now? Should I leave? A timeout? Do what you need to do. All right, I'll be back. Ow, you stepped on my foot. Oh my God, I can't. Come on, Julio. We're gonna get beat up. At the house, Masa was tripping, so I had to get out of there and give myself a little time out. It was my only day off in weeks. And on top of that, I haven't had sex in like five days, so I was a little on edge. Oh. Damn. It's crazy, because as soon as you're told you can't have sex, then that's all you think about. Hello. Tutti. What up, bro? I wanted to see um, if you're busy right now and you wanted to meet me at the dojo. Uriah and Juancho. Why don't you call Puff and we'll, we'll have a little uh, royal rumble because, uh, uh, you know, need to blow off a little steam. Sounds like you got to get out some aggression. I don't know what's up with Masa, man. I think she's uh, starting to make the switch into full-blown pregnant tripping out mode. Yeah, but you know what, bro? You had months of, uh, of, like, the good life, considering, you know what I mean? Like... No, no, I know, you're right, but it doesn't make this last month any easier. <laughs> I'm eight months pregnant, and all I wanted to do was nest. But the house was a complete mess and still disorganized, so I went to my favorite place, the container store. This is for the baby. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Look at you. No, yeah. Do you mind if I ask how, how far along you are? Oh, oh, okay. Um, I don't understand why people just feel so comfortable to go up to another human being and just rub their tummy. I mean, she rubbed it like I was Buddha. Oh, That's do you so have any funny. kids? No, I've always wanted one though. Oh, okay. Congratulations. <laughs> well, thank you. Thanks so much. Okay. Yes, this is a miracle. It's such a beautiful thing that our bodies are able to do. But she just picked the worst day. Let's go, Pancho. Oh, 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 oh. Go with the net, won't you? When I'm stressed out, the only thing that makes me relax is working out. And usually I gravitate towards wrestling or boxing, the more physical things. And it kind of helps that I grew up wrestling because I can kick all my friends' butts. Uh, oh! There's nothing like going to the mat against a world champion to cut my ego back down to size. Hello? Hi, what are you doing? I called Mario's sister, Marisa, because she's been pregnant three times, and I, I just wanted to see if she was ever moody like I was. I'm not having a very good day. Is this the way it's gonna be till the end? I'm, I'm just depressed, I'm miserable, I'm fat. Aw, you're your first baby. I know. Pregnant a long time now. I thought it's a long time to be pregnant. But I mean, did you go through this too? Should I feel bad about having bad days and feeling miserable? I mean, that's just normal. It's normal. You're just anxious. You're ready for the baby to come. That's how it is. So do you think I'm going to get any relief at all for the next month, or am I just going to be like this for the rest of the pregnancy? Well, I'd like to tell you that you're going to get a lot more relief, but... Probably not. I wanted to cry when she told me that. All right, girl, I'll talk to you later. All right, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Thank you. Uh, you guys, thanks for uh, letting me get those aggressions out. You might have to put this in every day now with the new life. Well, that's just the thing, Uriah. My girl's been like the poster child pregnant woman. She just hit this eighth month. I don't know what happened, like a switch went on. She started tripping a little bit. And I want her to be as as 
like peaceful and happy as can be for the delivery. And so I was thinking of doing something nice for Masa so she could see that, you know, we're in the home stretch, I appreciate her and, and just, just to be nice, you know, one of those just because. Like an Italian meal? Yeah. I think the Italian dish, the, her favorite Italian meal, yeah. I would like to try to make it, but I don't think I can pull it off where it could be edible. <laughs> so maybe I get it like catered, you know what I'm saying? That and then maybe like a little music. So the plan was a romantic dinner, but I knew I couldn't pull it off on my own. So I had to call in a few favors from my friends. Evo, what's up? Hey, you know what? I had an idea. I was, I was thinking that I could surprise Masa with like a nice romantic dinner, but obviously I'm not that good of a cook, so. Oh my God, oh my God, Mario, don't do that. <laughs> um, I was hoping that you could hook me up with one of the chefs right there at Bessel and, uh, and, and he could help me out. Eva's a real good friend of mine and Bessel is her restaurant and I explained my situation and that I needed her help. Yeah, what day, what day are you gonna do it? I, I really kind of wanted to do it tonight. Is that possible? Yeah, yeah. You know what? Well, let me call because I want you to. I want you to be sure to get Lincoln because he's the best one. Cool, cool. Yeah, I'm gonna call the designer too and just you know try to make it real nice. I obviously, want to make it romantic and with the lights and the view and kind of create like an enchanted evening. You know, something special. Wow, Mario, I'm impressed. All right, honey. Thanks a lot. Okay, Mario. So I'll talk to you later. So Eva came through and that was a big help, but I had to hurry up and get back home and make sure Masa was out of the way before everything arrived. Julio! Julio! Oh my God. Julio! What's the matter? I can't find Julio. What do you mean you can't find Julio? I don't know where he went. So my bad day went to my worst day ever when I couldn't find Julio because I'm petrified that he's gonna be eaten by a coyote because we live on this mountain. And it just really pushed me over the edge. He's okay. I can't even keep my dog in the house. What am I gonna do with the dog and the kid? It's okay, baby, come on. It's okay, I'll find him, I'll find him. Don't worry about it, come on. We'll find him now, I don't I'll want a coyote him. We'll to get him. Nobody's gonna get him. Come, come to the room, just relax, you need to lay down. Don't get all stressed out. But go find him. I will, I'm gonna go find him. Julio! 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 Where'd you go? You were kind of tripping out that day because you lost Julio and... Well, he's my baby. I don't want anything to happen to him. Nothing's gonna happen to him. He's fine. Where's he gonna go? He probably just wanted a break from you. I know those moments. <laughs> <laughs> Julio! Julio! There you are. Come here. Come on. Dude, get over here. I'm just tripping right now. Where'd you go? So after I found Julio, Masa finally took a nap in peace, and she really needed it because she was at the end of a rope. And it was a good time for me to get everything set up for dinner, but we had to work quietly, though. So tell me, what kind of things does Courtney like? What should we add? Some nice touches for her? Sort of simple, uh, classy, elegant stuff. What if we threw in a ton of candles? We'll kind of do a canopy and string lights above you guys so oh, the whole yeah. place you kind of just that. sparkles. Right, do you have enough time to do all that? Are we cool? It's a little tight, but we'll make it work. All right, I'm gonna let you do your thing, so okay. we're good. Perfect, okay, yeah, we're good, so thank again. you. Okay, sweet. All right. Lincoln. Mario, what's up, man? What's up, man? How you doing? Thanks for coming, brother. Yeah, my Come pleasure. In. Over here, dude. Here's the kitchen over here. Walk this way. Anything you need, you know, let me know. I'll make yourself at home. Best was her favorite, so she loves your food. My pleasure, man. We got, we got some classics for you. It'll be great. Sweet, man. Sweet. All right, you grab your stuff. I'm going to go grab a shower and get right. ready, okay? Sounds good. I'll see you. All right, guys, if you can bring all that stuff out to the backyard, that would be great. Thank God Masa's a heavy sleeper. An earthquake wouldn't wake her up. How you doing? That's nice. You resting? Yes. How you feel? Good. I got you something. Me? No surprise. Go ahead. The disposal stuff? Yeah, just throw it off. Mm. 
You don't like them because you know you're always cold? I am always cold, but my feet are so fat, I don't know if they'll fit. Yeah, try them on. You got a little thing right there. The fat feet. Okay. That was a lot of tissue. Well, you know, it's all about the presentation. <laughs> These are cute. See, you're like my little Wilma Flintstone right now. I am. I do have Flintstone feet. Right? Come on, you don't have to waddle. No, I just... See? <laughs> See, get rid of these. Those are cute, huh? Whoa. What? Bust a move. What? Comfortable? What? Okay. <laughs> That's not the only surprise <laughs> I have for you, though. Okay? I have something else, but it's a real, real surprise, so I want you to put a blindfold on. Hold on. Oh, my God. Your little princess goggles. Why are you being so nice? Because you were... Why do you look so nice? You were being a, a grumpy bear. Can you see? Ah. You, you, saw, you saw me. I could feel you. You almost hit me. I know you're doing something. I'm not doing anything. I can feel you. <laughs> Work slow now. I got you. I got you. I love being blindfolded. Oh, to sell. <laughs> Where'd you think I was taking you with the blindfold? Seriously, I thought you were going to push me off the cliff for, be for being a breath that day. I was debating the cliff <laughs> or in the pool. I, I know where we're facing. <laughs> I'm out here every day with a pool to go. Just relax. Okay, just relax. I worked all day and called in favors to set up something real special for Masa, but how she's been feeling all day and with her mood swings, I didn't know how she was gonna take it. Oh my God. <laughs> you like it? Wow, yes. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. Beautiful? <laughs> Hell? Honey. Honey, you're beautiful. Come on. Oh my gosh. I was speechless. I mean, it was one of our first romantic moments like that in our new house. It was just breathtaking. I just wanted to do um, something nice and, and, and different because I know you've been kind of stressing out and feeling a little just uncomfortable with... with you know, it has nothing to do with you. I know, I know. I understand. Oh gosh, thank you. Oh wait, I'm missing something. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I just remembered. I got the Mater D. <laughs> <laughs> this is Senor Julio at your service. Julio was debating whether he should go necktie or bow tie, and I said, Julio, come on. Bow Isn't tie. that difficult of a decision? You gotta go bow tie, buddy. Another reason, honey, I wanted to do something special for you is because even though we can't be intimate right now, you know, we, we really don't have a choice at the moment. We can just kind of get through it and it'll be that much more... Explosive. Explosive, <laughs> literally, <laughs> when the day comes. So are you gonna bear with me for the rest of the pregnancy or are you gonna hate me if I have bad days? I don't hate you, I understand. You tell me what you want. You just call the shots and I'll play along, all right? This is why I'm in love with you. I just love you so much. This is just a little a little taste of many great nights to come. I love taking care of you and um, making you happy. I just, I really want to thank you for what you did for me that night because it, it really reassured me that you understand what I'm going through is due to the pregnancy and nothing else and that I'm going to have moments like that. And mm -hmm. I know I was being a brat, but... Definitely being a brat, but you're my brat. Thank you. Next time on Mario Lopez, Saved by the Baby. So, Doc, once we find out where the placenta sits, we'll be able to find out whether we can be intimate again. I just want to call and let you know I uh, talked to Dad yesterday. Oh, you did? My father left our family to be with another woman, and the fact that he doesn't want anything to do with us, it's devastating. Did he ask anything about my baby? No, he didn't. 
Promise me that you'll always be there for me and the baby. Okay, what's up, baby? It's me, your dad. Listen, whatever you're doing to your mom in this hormonal state that she's in, you gotta help me out and kick back a little bit. I mean, she's being real moody and a bit complex. Love her still, but you know what I mean. If you're a girl, like her, I promise to treat you like a princess every day and try my best to make you feel special. If you're a boy, well, life's just gonna be a lot easier, so. Oh, all right, baby. I will talk to you later. Gran beso. Bye. <laughs>